So joining us now with his reaction, Congressman Ted Yoho of Florida, a member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, joining us with the latest on what we're seeing right now as a reaction to the fact that there are big concerns about the refugees crossing the borders and the fact that at least one of the suspects we're hearing actually was among that flood of refugees coming into Syria. Congressman, your reaction? Yeah, Uma. Uh, first off, I just want to say, you know, our hearts, our thoughts, and our prayers go out to the people of France and Paris and anywhere else in the world that suffered this. And I think this is something I heard Peter King, and I think he's spot on that we need to suspend any more immigration until we can go through the proper channels of vetting anybody that comes into our country. We are in a declared war on terrorism, and this is all the more reason to secure our borders and our homeland. You know, the number one task of our government is to provide for uh, national security and the common defense of our nation and the start with a secure border. Realistically, though, is there the political will to do that, uh, to stop refugees coming here in the U.S. Uh, from Syria? And are there going to be more, uh, is there going to be more pressure from your point of view to close the borders altogether? Well, let's secure the borders. We don't need to close them. There's already people in the pipeline that have work visas coming, but coming to come over here. But more importantly, uh, Ed Royce and Elliot, Elliot Engel from the House uh, Foreign Affairs Committee has asked President Obama and this administration repeatedly to have free safe zones in Syria for over four years, and the administration is still studying it. We don't need to study it. We need to set those up so the Syrians can stay in their country where they're comfortable and that we, as a world coalition, can provide security for those people. And this is something that this administration has dropped the ball on, and it's unconscionable. Do you expect, though, to see some real action uh, in the House uh, going forward to call on the president to go ahead and push for these safe zones? Oh, abs absolutely. We, in fact, we've got uh, legislation coming out of our house uh, or out of our office to address this uh, uh, very issue. We need to have those safe zones, and we also need to secure the border and, and suspend anybody coming to this country from um, any of the countries where the terrorists have, have originated from. Uh, we don't want to have a knee-jerk reaction. We want to do the investigation. But until those investigations are done, we want to make sure that we do our due diligence to keep you know, our homeland uh, secure and free. Can members of Congress right now uh, push hard to say we want any type of settlement of refugees from Syria to stop now in the U.S.? Absolutely. And this is really what we need to do in Congress. We don't need to wait for a presidential executive order. We need to act and say, come on, it's time that we secure the homeland and we stop and we suspend people uh, that want to come to this country from those areas until we get a process to where we can vet these people and we can make sure who's coming into our country are indeed the people they say they are. All right, Congressman. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. Have a good day.